To the marshes, then. Let's find that ladder. To the marshes. This is a nice place. Here's the gate. And that must be the ladder. Oh, it looks lovely down there. Hey, how did you beat me down here? <laughs> Oh, what was that? I'm coming. It came from under the bridge. Come on. I'm on my way. There he is. Missed. <laughs> Hold on, we're coming. It's not like those abilities. They're uh pretty effective. Oh, you had some health left. Okay. Got him. He's like embedded in the wall. <laughs> hey, birdie. Thank you, my lady. You saved my life. Not at all. You're Bernard the Carpenter, yes? I am. I, I didn't realize my name was known so widely. Mm -hmm. I'm a friend of Martha's. She asked us to come and find you. Well, I'm very grateful for it. I just finished checking these piles when I turn around, I see a gang of slavering monsters looking to, to feast on my flesh. <laughs> if you hadn't come when you did, I'd have been snipped into strips by now. We're just glad you're safe. Well, I, I best go and give my regards to the landlady then, hey? Eh? Actually, mm -hmm. she asked that if we found you, we should beg you make haste to repair the bridge to Eastpool. Of course. I, I said I'd take a look at it, but and it, it clean slipped my mind. I'll head up there straight away. Oh, that was easy. That was quick. Damn. Oh, the trusses are still sturdy. It's just a matter of replacing the stringers and relining the deck. I'll have it done in no time. Thank Good job. You, Bernard. We were hoping to take the road to Eastpool ourselves. We're very grateful for your help. And sorry for asking this of you after what you've been through. I owe you my life. Fixing a bridge is the least I can do. Thank you, my lady. And you too, son. You're with Sid, ain't ya? Me and him will go way back. Not as far as Martha mine, but far enough. I see. Well, I best get cracking then. You go and let Martha know I'm all right, and she'll have her bridge back soon enough. We will. Onward. The bridge will be fixed when it's fixed. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's going to be fixed even quicker now. I'm going the wrong way. Is there a way around this way? You ain't pulled that sword from its scabbard in days. Oh Come my. On. I was just about to ask if this was <laughs> if it weren't for that mark, I'd be on you like a rash. Oh, I see how it is. <laughs> oh, you think that's the local brothel? Where the hell is this telling me to go? <laughs> You're back. What happened? Did you find Bernard? He did we indeed. Did. He's fine. And he'll have the bridge to Eastpool repaired soon. Oh, well, thank the founder for that. It was lucky we found him when we did. The creatures out there are not to be trifled with. They were easy. It's the boys' fault. They'd nothing to eat in the north, so they come down here hunting for food. Oh, he can't keep going out alone. I'll have to arrange a guard for him. <laughs> but anyway, thank you. I don't have a lot to offer in return, but you're welcome to rest here until the repairs are finished. That'd be good. We'd be delighted.
Can I get you a drink or anything while you wait? Flagon of imperial gold, perhaps? Tastes like swill, but let's take a thirst. No, no wine? Thank you. I prefer the truth about why there are so few bearers around here. Yes. There were more of them when we were young. Far more. Is this the Empire's doing? Have they been sent away? They have, aye. Either to the Legions or Auriflam. Hmm. Seems the miners at Drake's Head are having a hard time keeping up with demand of late. So the bearers make up the shortfall. Time was they used to dole out crystals like sugar plums, even down here in the provinces, but not anymore. Nowadays, they'll jump at any excuse to confiscate our bearers so they can be put to work elsewhere. Mm, sounds about right. I always knew the Empire treated their branded like shit, but after seeing it with my own eyes, well. Hmm. Ah, dear. Congratulations on the new arrival. And you got the little laddie with you. It was a bearer. The boy I carried for nine long moons. A bloody bearer. Oh, you poor thing. You gave it to the constables then. Just left it at the garrison, I. What? Them deal with it. Couldn't wait to be rid of the blasted thing. Been wanting it gone since the moment I found out. Well, it's all dealt with now. So no harm done, eh? Mum, he weren't my brother, was he? No, but you'll have one soon enough. You just have to be patient, all right? All right. What the heck? Unbelievable, isn't it? Bearers may have been looked down on back in Archduke Elwyn's day, but they were still human beings. Now they've fallen so far, a beggar wouldn't spit on them. Since you're not drinking, do me a favor and take that to the Abbey. There's a darkness at the heart of this world, and I'd have you see it. And we'll see it at an Abbey. Glademond Abbey, on the shore of Sorrowise Bay. The Abbot there is a friend. Tell him Martha sent you, and he'll show you what I mean. Okay. Understood. How do they know that the kid is a bearer? And also, did she seriously just say she gave it up to the garrison? Like, that's so cold. Oh, hello, you merchant. All is it? Come and have a look. Don't fresh be shy. Cut. Fresh cuts. Don't be fresh. shy. Um. Is this a lift? Yeah. I did wonder. Whee! I knew that children were tested, but that a bearer's fate was decided at birth. And assumed it was best for all concern. I know. But for a child to be blamed, to be hated by its parents through no fault of its own. We knew nothing of what it meant to be born that way. Did we? No. It's so cold. <gasps> Look at the blue and green chocobo. Oh, it's so pretty. I don't want to fight you. I just want to go on. Oh, look at him. No, I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight. No. Doubt you. Damn it. Oh. That's brutal. 
I'm sorry! Oh, there's loads of different... Oh, is that a crab? I'm getting distracted. <laughs> Wait, hang on. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. That one was so pretty. Oh, we can't go in water. Okay. Come here. Oh yeah, got him eventually. There's the Abbey. Hmm. What darkness awaits us within, I wonder. That's the question. Hang on, you're too far away. going to be in here. Hmm. Good day to you. Hi. I'm afraid the Abbey is not open for public prayer. May Grieger go with you? We came to offer a donation from Martha. Hmm, do not want to take it from me. Hmm. I see. Then please follow me. Hmm, what's this all about? I... I don't want to die. Please, Father. Mm. Something for the pain. What have they got? The light. It fades. I don't want to die alone. It's all right. I'm here. Who are these people? Martha's bearers. She entrusted them to my care, that I might ease their suffering. Hmm. To the extent that I can, for the time they have left. Oh. Looks crystallized. What's going on there? The curse has taken them. All of them. As it does every bearer forced to use their gift. Oh no. With each draw on the ether, their bodies petrify, till all that remains is stone and pain, and so they are cast aside. Is there that going to happen to us? There is nothing Martha or I can do to change that. But we can at least strive to make their final hours a little more bearable. <laughs> oh, that's so messed up. Have faith, my son, for you shall rise again and find the happiness denied you in this life. Thank you, Father. Aww.
I must offer you my own thanks for the medicine you so kindly brought. Ah, their final moments may be moments of peace. Hmm. When next you see Martha, pray tell her that two more have succumbed. All right. Is that same thing going to happen to Clive, though? <laughs> 